Welcome back to another episode of Shop Talk. Today I'm going to talk about the Mix Power and Casoman brands from Amazon. And this kind of probably applies to most of these kind of seemingly random impact or just any kind of socket brands that just kind of show up on Amazon and we have no idea where they're from. They're just like some random uh, China, whatever, manufacturer, rebranded, who knows what. We know nothing, but I bought some a few months ago and I'm going to talk about what I found out. Well, this is just part of it. This is a part of the Mix Power line. Mix Power kind of showed up on Amazon randomly and they're, again, nobody knows who they are or what they're about, or at least I don't or whatever, but they were selling like this big old huge set of for three eighths for around one hundred and fifty dollars. Now one hundred fifty dollars, that's a little bit to spend on a, a just random no name brand. But what they offer in this package is just so much. They offer you a complete standard and metric three eight set, and by complete I mean not just a shallow you know six to nineteen millimeter. Uh, it's like deep, shallow, and deep, shallow for both standard and metric. It includes these swivel sockets here. It, this is including them. And it includes multiple different adapters, like a half to three-eighths adapter. It includes the three-eighths swivel, just like the universal one. And it, it also includes star sockets too, not just your standard SA in metric socket. This is including your torque sockets from I think T25 up to T55. And not only that, it includes your external torques as well. So E torques, you got all of those. And extensions. This included I think three or four extensions as well. So when you're saying complete, this is a very, very, very complete set for $150. Now that just seems this is at the point where it just seems, oh, it's too good to be true. Um, it's just, you know, these things have got to be super cheap and just break instantly. And honestly, so far, I have not had this issue. I've had them for a few months now, and they've been holding up. Oh, there went my light. That's cool. I have a motion light in my garage, and um, my toolbox is currently placed perfectly in the way. Maybe if I stand on the other side of the camera, it can keep seeing me. Um, but I've been using these, and they've been holding up all right. Um, now, to put this price into perspective, take Icon, which is like Harbor Freight's new professional, if you will, brand. And they want to charge $99 to get the their metric swivel impact set. Just there, like this, but for metric. Now I have the metric set of the mix power because like I said it all comes uh, comes together and that's all you get is just those. This gives you both sets and everything else I just mentioned for $50 more. And you know that's just crazy to think about. And all of these sockets, they are all chrome molly. They all say CRMO on them. Uh which I mean this is a debatable subject, depending on who you're talking to, but generally chrome molly is used for the impact sockets. The, the word is that they just have a better resistance to shattering under impact force. But take that with a grain of salt. But that's what they're all made out of, and I, I haven't had it any problems with them. I've been using them for a few months. Like I said, this is a 3.8 set and I have used the half to 3.8 adapter on my Cobalt XTR impact, which is up to like 1300 foot pounds of braking force, something like that. And they've been holding up great. So, all right, we're really zoomed in here. And we're going to take a very detailed look at these sockets here. This is my 10 mil, uh, again, probably about eight years old and it's doing just fine. I mean, I really don't see, uh, there's just a tiny, tiny bit of marring kind of right in here, just, just a little bit. Um, 
Now, I mean, you can see these little lines just a little bit, nothing much. Overall, still perfect shape, kind of pretty much just as how it was when I bought it. A little dirty, needs cleaned up, but overall, this guy, he's good to go. So, set him aside. Um, this is the Mix Power Socket, and I've been using this as my main socket, uh, or my main socket set. Uh, since I bought them, which is a few months ago, uh, it's written Chrome Molly 10 mil in there, and then it is printed right there, Mix Power. And um, it really doesn't have any damage at all, really, yet um, that I can find. If we look real close there, try to go around here, and it looks just to be just fine. So hasn't been damaged as of yet. Um, this is my Duralast 15, which again, probably my most used socket that I own, and it is well used. You can see the edges are just, they're worn just ever so slightly, uh, but overall really, really holding up really well. Uh, so go Duralast. I, recommend you. I'm starting to lose all my coating, but yeah, it's just workhorse. Surprising to me is this icon socket. Um, it is taking quite a bit of chewing here. Like I said, I've only been using it about the same time as I have the mix power one, and this is just kind of starting to get worn a little bit. Uh, what is it? This side? That's actually a little bit of an edge right there that I can actually feel with the pick. And this is a fat pick. You know, if I had a thinner one, I'd really feel it. But, you know, it's already kind of being marred up a little bit right here on the, on the very edge. Just on the very outside edge. I mean, nothing much, but, you know, for the brand that's supposed to be tool truck competitive, it's actually holding up the least, basically, out of... Um, you know, just a store box chrome socket versus a random Amazon and uh, just part store stuff. I mean, nothing high end here, and it's all holding up better than what is supposed to be high end. So I find that to be kind of interesting. Now, I just want to go ahead and point out, uh, this is the case that the set that I bought comes in. And like I said, 3 8 drive master impact socket set. 87 piece SA in metric and it lists here everything that it comes with and it's a pretty extensive list. I mean 14 standard sockets, 14 deeps, uh, 10 metric universals, again 10 through 19 straight up no skips at all. Uh, you got all the standard stuff, the standard universals, the e-torques, the regular torques, uh, four extension bars, the half to three eighths adapter and the uh, three eighths universal joint. And I've pretty much used most everything except for a lot of the standard stuff. I don't really use standard very often, but using the metric, I mean, they're, they're, they're the same, so I can tell you. Uh, let's open the case here. There's nothing in it really, but just to give you an idea, I mean, that is a lot of sockets for. $150 and this is 87 pieces so that's much less than two dollars a socket and uh, if you need something portable I mean hey I would buy this just to throw in a vehicle because it comes with everything all you need is a ratchet and you're good to go so yeah so at the end of the day should you risk it for a biscuit and buy some random sockets off the internet that nobody's ever heard of? My answer is, unless you are a already upgrading yourself mechanic, like you've been mechanicing for a while and you already have all the tools you need, you already have sockets and whatnot, and you are looking to just upgrade, then no, I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't buy them if you're looking to upgrade. But if you don't have impact sockets or if you just are missing out on the swivels or whatever it may be um you know if there's i would, if, I would say if you're missing 40 percent or more of what a, a set like this has to offer 
go for it, especially with Amazon, because again, Amazon is a deal where it's one of the easiest places to return stuff. You can get your money back no problemo if you know you have it for a, for a while and you know socket breaks. I mean, get it replaced. It's it's just that simple. So yeah, I would say buy them, try them. Why not? You know, 150 bucks and you just get everything versus spending at least $99 for Icon, which is probably your cheapest pro brand. Uh, spend a lot more than that if you want to get an actual name brand. And you only get one row of sockets, you know, just buy. If you buy something like this, I mean, this is fantastic because it gives you everything that you need. And depending on how hard you are with them, they should last for quite a while, or at least long enough until you can buy something. But yep, that's my thoughts on picking up random sockets off the internet. And I mean, this kind of applies to uh, quite a few other hand tools as well, you know, wrench sets and whatnot. If you don't have them, or you don't have, you know, most of the set and you just need it right away, go ahead and do it and, you know, whatever. You can always upgrade later on, that's fine. And then what you do with the, your, your old stuff, I mean, that's up to you. I mean, I'm in a situation here where I have a, a garage here up front and I have uh, buildings out in my uh, backyard so I can have extra tools spread between both buildings. Uh, I have extra stuff in this, bo in this big box here for uh, when I have people over helping me out with stuff and then I have my own. So it does me a lot of good to have multiple sets around. And if you are working at a shop or whatever, uh, it won't hurt you either, so that way you can um, buy some stuff, get what you need, and then when you upgrade, you can take that other stuff back home, and you're not in it for a fortune. So, because chances are, if you're working on cars at work, you're probably working on cars at home. So, trust me, just have multiple sets, it's fine. <laughs> Anyhow, that is going to wrap it up for this quick shop talk video, and... I will see you on the next one.